Hello, my celestial kings and queens. This is Mystic Storm here to clear a path to a new life with you. If you're new, welcome to the family. I pray that you receive the messages that I am about to give to the collective. And I pray that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can continue to get more content from me, okay? And if you're already a part of the Celestial Kingdom, you already know what's up. We back with another one, okay? So, it's full moon in Sagittarius with this lunar eclipse energy, right? So, I want to do, of course, I want to do a reading, but I also wanted to break out my... Um, my iPad here and look at the chart with you. I already kind of have it pulled up. Let's see if it will. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, I wanted to talk to, uh, talk about what I'm seeing real quick. Well, first, let's just look at the aspects here. We have the opposition with the moon. I'm sorry, with the sun and the moon. That's what's making the full moon and the lunar eclipse. But we're also getting this square off with Neptune and Mars and Pisces. And it's crazy because it's making this triangle. And the triangle to me looks like the symbol for fire fire and what are we in we're in the full moon of Sagittarius that's fire energy so I feel like everything right now is going to be illuminated um a lot of tension might be going on we see that right in in the media right now um but I will like to put attention to Neptune and Mars they're trying Saturn Jupiter and Pluto, that's all in retrograde right now. <laughs> all in retrograde. Plus, side note, you know, Mercury retrograde is coming up on the 18th. So, just just beware. Not beware, but just be aware. <laughs> Alright? So, with this trying here, I feel like all of our dreams and our hopes to reshape this world... Um, to change what society um, has instilled in us for years, uh, generational curses on the society, I feel like it's going to clear up because these retrogrades are in place in order for us to transform and rebuild, restructuralize. Definitely restructuring with Saturn uh, retrograde. Um, definitely working on expansion, material wealth building, um, and also with the birth, death, rebirth with the Pluto retrograde. Okay. So all of our, all of our dreams and hopes for the world, they're, they're going to be in alignment. So all the protesting that we're seeing right now, um, all that's going on in the media, with even coronavirus, all this stuff, it's all helping to rebuild and structuralize the new world because we are in the age of Aquarius, okay? Everything is mental. So that's good. And I feel like the, we, our dreams are matching up with our will and drive, okay? We see the vision and we're acting on it. So that's beautiful. And then also... I would like to pay attention to the trine here with Venus, ooh, and Cancer, that's beautiful, with Uranus and Taurus. Now, Uranus is going to be in uh, Taurus for uh, a few years. I can't remember how many years to be exact, but it's, it's there for a while. So this trine is saying that the the uh, innovation, there we go. I was trying to think, I was like, what am I trying to say? The innovation that we're trying to be in, um, to embark, to change our new world is going to be better, but we first need to go within and heal ourselves. And the healing is taking place right now. Healing is taking place. So I will say, if you aren't, 
in a place where you want to be right now. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to love on yourself. And, oh, I'm sorry. Is this Venus? This is not Venus. This is Mercury. Sorry. But that's lining up with communication. So I feel like communication and with compassion still is going to line up with what you're wanting to do to go forward and that's where that innovation comes so mercury is all about the mental communication so if you're able to dive deep and express yourself you're able to gain the knowledge and the wisdom you need in order to move forth and be innovative and be creative so that's beautiful so I hope that this little tidbit brought you well before I start the reading. I don't know if you can kind of see the chart there, but yeah. All right. I want to incorporate reading the chart more with you all. So let me know how you, how you like that. Okay. All right. So let's get into this reading. It's going to be kind of like a ritual guidance. So what do we need to focus on pretty much um, for the full moon and for the rest of the moon cycle leading up to the new moon that will be happening, okay? So I didn't do a meditation for this go-round. I just want to be an open vessel and let's see what spirit has for all of us, okay? So, let's see. All right, since it's the full moon, let's bust out the queen of the moon oracle. Yes. Yes. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the full moon in Sagittarius? Messages you have for the collective for the full moon in Sagittarius. What guidance do we need, Spirit? Show us your infinite grace and wisdom. sovereignty queen of the moon this is literally it's our time if you are a worker of the moon definitely this is your time this is showing that we are coming in, into our own and we need to own and step into our power know that we are great know that we can harness this energy and use this energy for the betterment in, in order to shape and mold our reality we can transmute any energy that we want. We just have to be aware of it. Anytime that we get into a funk or we get into a try, people try to get us into these low vibrational situations. Remember who we are, who you are. Remember, you're the queen of the moon. You're the king of the moon. <laughs> so especially with this 41 that reduces to five that's change that's uh happening within you okay you're gaining that knowledge look at that third eye with that crescent moon right there yes you're gaining knowledge okay and you're studying more you're elevating yourself more and i feel like at this point right now with this fire energy from Sagittarius that this is a, a really good time for you to harness this energy in order to really look at what you're wanting to manifest and keep your eye on the prize okay beautiful 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 before I get into the tarot I'm trying to see I was looking at this first Let's get into the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds, okay?
what additional messages do you have for the collective spirit for the full moon in Sagittarius? What guidance do we need in order to work with this moon? Spirit of Spring. I feel like Slick, when I was pulling, pulling from, I, I, I do my daily pulls um, over the weekend and schedule the post. And I really do feel like, I don't remember, no, Sovereignty didn't come up um, for this time. I think it was The Void. But Spirit of Spring definitely came out. So this is in alignment with that freedom, action, power. This is beautiful, okay? Beautiful, because it's just signaling that we are stepping, to, stepping, stepping into our own. We're knowing that we are free beings, that we can take action and harness this power to blossom and be abundant and grow into our highest and greatest selves spirit of spring it's time to sprout up and transform and uh y'all at the bottom of the deck healing the earth don't we need that right now don't we need that right now i'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute healing the earth some of us this is what we have been called to do to spread our light into the world yes we should embrace both dark and light aspects of ourselves. But some people, you know, they get into this dark space and they don't know how to balance it. They don't know how to get out of it. But being a light worker is one, a commitment, but two, something that it helps you, it helps others. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing. So we all should really you know show humility be love spread love to the earth because the earth needs it right now the earth needs it right now and it's crazy um because earth mother earth she she really is needing this love we need to take better care of our planet we only get one planet. You know how they say we only get one body? The earth is our body. We only get one. And we just continue to trash it and harm ourselves. We don't show humility to others. We're literally killing each other over over stupidity. Being um, brutal and all this stuff to people for no reason, for no reason, just because we're angry, you know, or fearful. And that's not right. That's not right. We need to show love to each other, show love to the earth and, and respect the earth and respect each other and respect each other because, oh, oh, oh. We're, we're hurting. We're hurting. The earth is hurting. And we have to do better. And we have to do better. Just point blank, period. And if you're called to be a light worker, if you're called, if you are if you call yourself a witch, if you call yourself a healer, if you call yourself all these things, you know, we don't have to go out and protest all, all that stuff. You know, some people are on the front line and that's great and that's awesome. You, yes, but we can do stuff behind the scenes, work our magic to heal the earth. Whew. Okay. Wow. That that shoot. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's the message. Man. Who say now y'all? I'm gonna keep going, but that was a word. That was a word. Man, got choked up a little bit. Whew. Whew. Okay. 
right. You know, definitely rest in peace to George Floyd and anybody, all of the people in my black community that have been killed based on um, police brutality. Like, it's definitely, it's, it's heartbreaking. And it's crazy because, like, for me, as a light worker, like, that's, that's a message for me because I didn't even want to see the video. I haven't watched the video. I was just like, nope, I, I don't need that in my energy field right now. This is, no. But it's, it has everybody so angry and frustrated. But this is the energy that we're talking about in the um, astrology chart that is going to help move us forward to change society. Things have to change and they're going to change. Now we're going to see that change. And, you know, people say 2020 has been a crazy year, but this is a pivotal year. This is a pivotal year. And I'm so happy for it. I'm so happy for it. We have to be grateful for this time because change is a coming. Okay? Okay. All right. Let's get into the Black Moon Astrology. Whew. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the full moon and Scorpio? I mean, ooh, I said Scorpio, Sagittarius. Let's be thinking about Scorpio energy. Full moon and Sagittarius. Okay. Mars, force. And you saw how I told you how Mars was in a trine with Mars and Neptune was in a trine with the three retrograde planets, Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto. We're, we're going to force this change. People are going to really realize that this, what what's going on in the world is not okay. Okay. Whew. Also with force, this is us. Again, going going into ourselves and really making a change. We see the vision, remember, with the Mars and, and Neptune, and we're going and changing. That's that number five that's going in, changing our perspective to move forward. Five, five, there's two fives, and then 34 here is seven. We're going to get, we have the wisdom in order to, to do this. Whew. I'm trying to hone it in, y'all. That that healing the earth came up. That that really took me out of here. <laughs> All right, let's get into the tarot, the psychic tarot. Yeah, it's definitely definite change and transformation is coming. Um, spirit might be forcing you into different well things that might be uncomfortable. But it's for for your betterment. So you can gain freedom. Ooh. Some people are going to be forced out of situations that they thought they was tied up in. And they're finally going to feel free. Um, yes. All right, spirit. Show us your guidance for, yes, the full moon in Sagittarius. Okay. Yes. So we have accelerated motion, patience, and planning. Mm hmm Huh. Hope in reverse. Heartache and loss. I should put, yeah, I'm gonna do four. Heartache and loss. Okay, so accelerated motion is it's crazy because the hope is in reverse, but we have to keep hope alive. We right now we're probably 
in a state where we feel like we can't get out of a situation. But that's where this patience and planning is coming into play. Because with the patience and planning, you know, it's crazy because we have accelerated motion and then we have patience and planning. But things are going to move fast. Spirit is going to force you out of a situation and it's going to be very fast. So they're saying prepare now. Prepare now because the storm is coming, but it's bringing, it's, you're changing seasons. The seasons are changing for you. And it's, it, it, you just have to prepare. And when, when this change hits, it's going to shake your faith. Our faith is going to be shaken. But Spirit is saying there's... There's no need because there's no heartache nor loss here. It's only gain. It's only gain. Throat chakra. Yes. Stand your ground came out in reverse. Interesting. And then let's see. Rest and rejuvenate. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. So, throat chakra came out. This is expressing yourself. Speak up. If you are wanting to um, start your own business, if you're wanting to work on your passion project, this is work with your throat chakra energy in order to fully express yourself. Definitely work with your throat chakra at this time too because leading up to the next new moon, we're going into Mercury retrograde. So definitely work on expressing yourself. Work work on um, communicating. And Spirit is saying, yes, use your throat chakra, but you don't have to stand your ground. You don't have to be in this like protective mode all the time and um show everybody that you're the boss or show everybody that you're the queen of the moon you know you know that you're all powerful you don't have to stand your ground this is your time to go within rest and rejuvenate because remember you have to be patient and plan for what's to come because when it comes it's coming at light speed. It's coming at light speed. So you have to prepare. What have you been wanting to manifest? You know, the tower must fall in order to have a structure, restructure. Yeah. All right, we're going to pull maybe a couple more cards. Solar plexus chakra. I'm gonna put it here. Beautiful. Having the confidence to go towards this journey. Mm. I see that light in reverse, but I'm not taking it. Deception and envy. Deception and envy. There was a lot of sevens here. So I feel like you're gaining a lot of wisdom and you're using this wisdom to transmute the energy around you and you're casting away all the deception and envy there won't be any heartache and loss here like definitely going within and working towards your goals because it's 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 your time it's your time and you're going to rise from the ashes. Recognition and reward. This is saying right now we're not going to see the benefits of our labor as yet. But remember the patience and planning here. You know, it takes time for us to water our seeds and have them actually grow and for us to reap the harvest. So I feel like, yes, we, we may be putting in work, you know, we, we know that we're powerful. We're, we know that we're, we've been putting 
all this time and effort into manifesting this life, but there's levels to it. It doesn't come at the drop of a hat. We just need to continue to work on ourselves, go within, be patient and plan. And once once it does come, we will reap what we've sown. And the recognition and reward will be bountiful. Okay? So, yes. That's, yeah. So definitely for this for this uh, full moon, work with your throat chakra and your solar plexus chakra, right? Know that you're powerful. Work on uh, with your freedom. Even see, I would invite you to see where Mars is in your uh, birth chart. If you don't know, uh, you can definitely hit me up and we can uh, go over that. And just be patient and plan for your next steps because whatever you're wanting to to manifest it's it's coming fast it's going to come fast and it's no need to have doubt because there's nothing that's going to hold you back nothing okay so let's do the final message with the wild offering I hope you all enjoyed this reading. Again, I invite you to like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you can get more content from me. Follow me on social media, Mystic Storm 333. I do daily card pulls and affirmations. And also my Gmail is the same, Mystic Storm 333 at gmail.com if you want to hit me up for a personal reading or for guidance in any other areas okay so let's get into the final message spirit what kind of messages do you have for the collective for the full moon and sagittarius Forgiveness. Up oh, two came out. Yeah, forgiveness. That's when we need to work on some healing. Forgiveness and body. Okay, so forgiveness says healing comes from acceptance. Help me, dear Lord, to fully accept what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. So yes, so we all need to heal you know, heal from things that we're going on, uh, what's going on with ourselves personally. And also we need to heal from what's going on uh, with the world and with um, what's going on as far as, you know, the black community. So I feel like we need to heal, forgive, and definitely open ourselves up to the new world, the new possibilities of this world, okay? And this card is about the body and it says show me divine how to love and fully care for this body please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is you know it's crazy because at the beginning of this reading i said you know we only have one body and the earth is also we only have one earth one planet one mother earth that's our body so Show, show me how to love and fully care for this body. Please give me the radiant miracle of accepting my body as it is. So yes, this is, this is talking about our inner world and our out, outer world. Accepting ourselves within and, set, and accepting the world as it is without. And we also need to heal and forgive from that and work, how, work to love and fully care for ourselves and for this world okay okay 
that's what we have for the full moon in Sagittarius reading. I pray that this um, you receive this message and that you're able to work with these energies. I would say definitely work with Mars again, throat chakra, sacral chakra here. Definitely going within, honing in and knowing your power and just stepping back, you know, being observant and planning for what's ahead because it's coming. Oh boy, it's coming. Okay, so yeah, we clearing paths to a new life here and you can see that it's abundant. You can see that it is bountiful, but we, you know, we have to put in work. We have to put in work and don't, don't lose sight of it. Okay, so this is all I have. I hope you all have a wonderful full moon and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.